welcome you all the students today we are going to learn about origin of language and this time within the origin of language we are going to learn about the social interaction source theory and according to social interaction source theory there is yohei ho theory and what is that kind of theory yohei ho theory the idea is that the sounds of a person involved in physical effort could be the source of our language, especially when that physical effort involved several people and the interaction had to be coordinated. So in olden times when people they were working together with coordination, so the sounds of uh, persons uh, making that physical effort that according to this uh, interaction, uh, social interaction source, that this might be uh, the origin of uh, uh, adopting language by humans. So a group of early humans uh, might develop a set of hums, grunts, groans, and curses that were used when they were lifting and carrying large uh, bits of trees or lifeless hairy mammoths. Lifeless hairy mammoths means lifeless or inanimate uh, gigantic things, big things, bigger things like uh, they are in the picture carrying the gigantic, heavy, lifting heavy things That's, that are known as lifeless hairy mammoths. And according to this uh, social interaction source of theory that people in olden times, they were working together in coordination and uh, with that, that working, they were actually, or uh, they might have uh, uh, used such uh, cries or uh, sounds like hums, grunts, groans, or they might use curses uh, for each other. That might be the source of origin of language. And this, the social interaction source, is known as Yoheho theory. This text or this material is taken from the very authentic book of uh, George Yule, The Study of Language. Hope this would have been very helping for all of you.